Wow, Griffin. I don't think it could have gotten any worse than your comments on the new graphics card, but you managed to surprise me on your baffling ignorance and utter lack of self-awareness. Hey everyone, Roadbreach here, and today I'm responding to a stream by Griffin Gaming. The stream in question was on multiple different people, but the section that I'm interested in is the one on Kretosis. As a small disclaimer, I'm not a fan of Kretosis, it's just what Griffin says here that pisses me off. So without further ado, let's do this. When you like, I already know these either, are fucking either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Yeah, this is gonna be a real good time. Wow, Griffin. If this was the start of a normal video, that must be like a world record in how quickly a YouTuber can fuck up a video like this. So let me get this straight. Because they have animal avatars, that makes them furries. You have a Griffin avatar as your profile picture. Are you a furry? We're barely into this section and you've already shown your complete lack of self-awareness. This should be like a PlayStation trophy or something and how quickly you can fuck up. Nerd. This certainly is not going to be an easy video to try to break down, but I will do my best. Also, why are you showing footage from Outer Worlds? Is this not a video about Fallout 3 and specifically your criticism of John's video on Fallout 3? Oh my god, man. Why aren't you using gameplay footage from the game being done? Shut the fuck up. Dude, people always say this shit about me. It's like, I don't want to fucking play the dog shit games I'm talking about. As the game is talking about the two, at least our frontal lobes work, nerds. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have the... Tism. Wow, we're really dropping off a fucking cliff here by using autism as an insult. You sound like you're stuck in 2013 by using the name of an actual disorder as an insult. Why the fuck is it an issue for them to question why the visuals of a video don't match up with the topic in question? You could also just use some gameplay online for your video if you don't want to play the game you're talking about. It's not a mark of shame if you do so. Generic background footage because he has nothing to fill the space. You really felt the need to point out the fact that, oh my god guys, he's not using the gameplay footage from the game he's talking about. Holy shit, dude. Whole, you can just tell these fuckers are homeschooled. Yeah, school is just fan fucking tastic, teaching you mostly irrelevant bullshit 90% of people won't use, with dipshits constantly making noise so it's difficult to focus on the bullshit you're being fed in the first place. It's even worse if you have high functioning autism and you need to be put in a special needs class with other people that have nothing in common with you. Besides maybe one or two people if you're lucky. I'm not kidding when I say that I said to my principal's face to come back down to earth and unfuck himself. And I don't regret a single second of me saying that. I also had fuck all interest in making friends when the class wouldn't shut the fuck up for a couple of minutes. I don't want to be here any more than you do. So the least you could do is shut the fuck up so I can listen to what the teacher has to tell me, so I can memorize that shit and get my stupid ass useless work done, so I can get the fuck out of here and do something worth my damn time. If I ever decide to have children, I will not send them to school, because what the fuck would they have done for me to subject them to hell on earth? Fuck school. <laughs> This is infuriatingly autistic. I'll just fucking say that. Yeah, man. Actually, if he would have just crashed it into the ground, the collateral damage would have been much smaller. Shut the fuck up, dog. Oh my god, how dare he define what poisoning the well means as a way to show the guy isn't correct. Uh. No, Griffin, you shut the fuck up. They were proving him wrong by giving the definition of the term that was used and why it does not apply to this situation. Was it a little corny? Yes, but they were responding with why they felt that what he said was bullshit. Maybe take some Prevagen if you don't remember what it's like to argue. On the road, because it's really more of a neutral and fun way of framing this rhetorical technique. Kick the can down the road, meaning to, <laughs> to avoid dealing with a problem, to postpone dealing with something in the hopes that it becomes someone else's problem to leave a complicated issue for some other day, to avoid or delay making an important decision normally on a regular basis. Dude, why the fuck can't their parents just beat them and take away their computer? 
Probably because they were giving the viewer reasons why they felt what Vincent said is bullshit by showing you why it doesn't match up with what's happening. I'd rather where you start the game out at. Does this guy have a grasp of English? Is it? <laughs> Oh, uh, the second language or third, perhaps? It very much seems that way. After yeah. After all, here's a link that will help you spot them when you suspense it as being used. Pro tip: If you have this bad of a grasp on the English language, oh, dude, he's really going after somebody for a fucking typo in their fucking descript. Oh my god. I've already established what they're doing here. Vincent shouldn't be using terms he doesn't understand. This is a great encapsulation of why these goddamn streams shouldn't be made. You are completely missing the point of the argument. Better comparison to make? Not sure on that. Hang on a second. What was that about comparing New Vegas to Rivet City? And what actual issue did he have with John's comparison? He never actually said what the issue was yet, or rather, why it was an unfair comparison. Elaboration is for pussies. Says the fucking brony. Yeah, I should make a ton. It's a free fucking license. Either make a point or shut the fuck up. Holy shit. This is a good chunk of the stream, by the way. They dare to explain why what Vincent said is bullshit, and Griffin has a goddamn aneurysm because they bother to explain why it's bullshit. If I keep responding to this, then I'm gonna need a goddamn gasket replaced. The motherfucker also decides to play the autism song, and I have just one response for that. Not to mention, the people who settled the Megaton Crater were people who survived the fucking war in the first place. Yeah, dummy. Oh my god. Why are they applying? Dude, they're like sitting here trying to talk about fucking. They're like trying to apply real world logic to the design of a fucking town and fall. Dude, it's a fucking video. Mm. Dude, this shit is fucking beyond dumb. These motherfuckers are a special breed. An absolute fucking special breed. So we're just supposed to tell Immersion and Logic to fuck off when it comes to storytelling in media? This is the same shit with COD Vanguard. Let me remind you, they specifically said this. It is truly the most immersive Call of Duty experience I've ever played. It is truly the most immersive Call of Duty experience I've ever played. Fallout may not be very grounded when it comes to gameplay, but that's not a reason to disregard the setting. Also, saying shit like, These people are a special breed, is a pretty yikes moment right there. He also decides to play the damn autism song again, in response to them being specific about something that Vincent gets wrong. So if you don't mind... I also feel like pointing out that Kree's avatar has the top sprite where he has a gun in his mouth, and Griffin keeps saying, do it. Honestly, Griffin, I feel like if you keep making these abysmal streams, you should fucking do it, because spamming memes and having a spaz attack because you can't counter facts is not a good way to win any arguments. English language, but this is getting pathetic. He knew enough to say the word rat, but still have my quote as rat. What the f He probably used fucking speech to text, you dipshit. That is not a valid argument, because using speech to text does not make an accurate transcription of what's said 100% of the time. Wondershare Fulmora has that feature too, but I never use it because I do not need it. It's not what Cree said. The only dipshit is you for thinking that a useless feature in editing software is a valid argument. Vincent, just fucking type out the quote and don't use a superfluous feature that's about as useful as DDLS. I find it funny that speech-to-text and DDLS have the same problem. They both make your experience worse than if you just didn't use them to begin with. I think we should also get to what could possibly be the worst part of this damn stream. He doesn't like against a game he likes. Yeah, that seems to be his entire point behind all of this. When I posted my nah, comment in response to his video, in which I went very into detail about what he was getting wrong and why, his response to me was to basically ignore most of what I said and just hand wave everything else away. Rather than actually trying to counter anything or have a real discussion, 
He claimed I was dismissive in my comment, even though the whole reason my comment was as long as it was is because I was fully taking him seriously at that point. However, him and one of his staunch defenders seemed to take more issue with the fact that I was commenting rather than you, Cree. Like, they expected you to be the one making a comment, and the fact I was making one of my own volition is proof of you being a coward somehow. It's like no one else is allowed to have autonomy and do things because they want to. They both completely dismissed my criticism because I wasn't the person they wanted me to be. It showed me they really weren't <laughs> interested in arguing in good faith. They just want- Dude, you're a fucking brony. Dude, you're a fucking brony. No one owes you a good faith argument. You literally have a fucking profile picture art of you as a brony sipping a fucking cup of tea with a fucking tramp stamp on with a leather jacket. You have no right to a genuine argument. The only thing people should fucking do when it comes to you is point and laugh. This is yet another reason why I can't stand PC elitists. They feel the need to gatekeep because their dicks are so fucking small that they need a stupid metal glowing fucking slab to make them feel better. Why the fuck does it matter if he has a fucking OC based on My Little Pony to begin with? This is on the same level as Dumbsville blaring memes at the top of his speakers or Repsion showing a single cringy individual and how fucking irrelevant the point you're trying to make is. The sheer goddamn arrogance you need to have in order to think that that has any bearing on the quality of someone's argument is straight up baffling. You've been doing nothing but telling them to shut the fuck up, misusing words, and blaring memes from your stupid soundboard. You haven't come up with any good counter arguments throughout this useless stream, so why the hell should anybody listen to you instead of them? Because you have a gaming PC? Not really a good reason for why we should listen to you if that's the case because I have one too, with the ugly ass lights included. Oh, but it gets even worse. Let's end off this section with the absolute worst thing that comes out of his mouth, that I skipped over by the way. Bro with the two, so these three are the new Otaku Daikin now? I'm guessing so. I mean, they're furries, so they probably do appreciate CP just as much as Otaku Daikin does, so yeah. There's that. Imagine how fucking ignorant you have to be in order to spew absolutely vile filth like this. Do you think it makes you look hip and cool to be this repugnantly ignorant towards furries because they dared to have an OC, so you just use the group fallacy because your tiny little fucking pea brain doesn't have the mental capacity to understand that not every person that's a part of a group is a bad person? Go to hell, you egregious waste of vital organs. This is the same mentality as the dumbasses that think all cops are bad people. You want to know what I think of this? Oh, I'll tell you, you're a fucking cran-munching retard if you think all furries are the same. Literally anyone on the planet can be a pedophile regardless of what fandom they're in. Why the fuck aren't we slandering any other fandom? Why aren't we labeling PC players as having OCD over the fact that 1080p 60fps isn't enough for them? Or Starvel fans as people that eat up anything that comes their way regardless of how dog shit it is. Or Among Us fans as being isolated hermits who don't know better multiplayer games exist. Oh, I know why. Because the internet is full of hypocritical dipshits with zero self-awareness. It's funny you call these guys furries for having animal character avatars, when you yourself have a fucking griffin profile picture. Why the fuck should we not think you're a pedophile for having the galls to have an animal profile picture? Griffin? I'm going to have to ask you to... Keep that same energy. That's all I have the patience for today. Griffin, either stop streaming or come up with better arguments and do some fucking research on furries. Besides that, do not go out of your way to harass anyone that I talk about. You're not welcome in my garage. But thanks for watching and got a zoom.